And see, Andre, what kind of went wrong out there for you guys, and was it pretty unexpected the things that did go wrong? Um, we just made too many mistakes, too many self-inflicted wounds, um, too many self-inflicted mistakes. We, we beat ourselves on all our drives. We made a couple big plays, but we just couldn't finish. Um, we got into the red zone. A lot of times, we just couldn't put the ball in the end zone. So that's what happened. How bad are you hurting right now? I'm just a little sore. That's just what comes with the game. I should be fine. Coach said you guys had a really good week of practice. He was kind of caught off guard by the, how sloppy it was. I mean, was it a pretty good week of practice for you guys? Was it surprising for you? Could have been better. Um, it, was, it was a good week, but, you know, we have to do better. We got to turn it up a notch in practice and have extreme focus. How was it like in the How tough does it make it to you to get success, success in the passing game when you're struggling with the run like you got over tonight? It makes it very hard. Um, we just got to be more physical. We got to be more physical. We got to execute better. When you're backed up like you were so many times tonight, how, how tough does that make it? It makes it very tough. You know, you got to drive the whole field. Um, you're not moving the ball, not getting first downs. It's hard to flip the field position. What was it like in the locker room? What did you say to the, your teammates to try to keep them up? I just told them, we got to stick together. We've been here before. And it's just going to see what type of team we are. We're not going to break up like we did last year. We're just going to stick together. It's a, it's a brotherhood. It's a family. No matter what, we stand together. It's a long season. That's just one game. You think you guys are better equipped now to handle adversity like this? You've been through it before, and how this coaching staff handles you guys. All right. We, like I said, we're gonna see what type of team we are. How we're gonna handle this situation. You know, you win some, you lose some. Somebody gotta win. Somebody gotta lose. And it just so happened tonight that we, you know, we came out on the bottom. We just gonna wake up tomorrow with our chins up high, coming ready to work. How about you just getting back out there and, and, and taking some hits? I mean, how do you feel just being back out there and playing quarterback? It seemed like a really special moment for you in the beginning of the game. You seemed really pumped up with the fans going crazy. Yeah, it was special. It was very special. Um, I'm just blessed to be out there again. Happy, happy to be out there. Not the outcome that we wanted, but it is what it is, and we're going to come back. How do you assess your performance personally? I could do way better. Um, a lot of things I could do better. Get the ball out of my hand quicker, execute the offense better, finish drives. You know, too many mistakes, too many self inflicted mistakes. And, and I take the blame for that. You know, as a leader of the team, as a quarterback, I need to play better. Andre, what's the biggest struggle in transitioning from a pro style offense to the spread? Like tonight, only three points. Um, I'm not sure. I feel like we were successful, but we got into the red zone four or five times and we couldn't capitalize. And that's big in college football. If you can't get into the red zone, we had too many turnovers and too many penalties. We were killing ourselves. It's not the offense. It was us. You go yeah. along with that, though. Coach was saying that that stuff's correctable, though. I mean, everything that you guys did, the mistakes, they're correctable. Is that encouraging as we head into practice this way? And very encouraging. And we know it's correctable. And, you know, the coaches put us in great position to succeed. And it's on us as players to do that. And tonight we failed at that. So we got to come to practice ready to work as players because the coaches are doing a great job. They're doing all they can for us. Now it's on us. It's, us, it's on us leaders to get these guys to ride together. It's on us leaders to do what we have to do every practice. Do you feel like you saw in practice everything that Vontek did? Say it again. Do you feel like in practice you saw all the looks that Vontek was able to give you tonight? Yeah, tonight I, I, I've seen it well from the jump, from the, from the beginning of the game to the end. Everything they did on defense, we planned for it. And, and, and I knew what they were doing. I seen it clear. And like I said, we had big plays. We just didn't capitalize in the red zone. We had too many penalties, and me myself I had too many turnovers, too many mistakes. Did you think your pass to Nudie in the first half was a touchdown? Uh, I'm not sure. I was, it, it wasn't a touchdown. We didn't get the seven points. We didn't get the six points. I mean, and we just got to move on from that. We're in the red zone. We got to move on from that play and score a touchdown. We didn't capitalize. Hey, DeAndre, you mentioned you guys were in the red zone four times. You come away with three points. Is there a common theme to, to why you weren't able to punch it in? Did you guys get tight? Was it just miscues? What happened? I'm not sure. It seems like something different every time. Penalty here and there, uh, missed assignment, um, bad execution by me. It was just, you know, we took turns and we just didn't execute the way that we should have. How much did being in a new offense impact the way you guys played today? Uh, we were very comfortable. The, the, the new offense, that's not the reason why we didn't execute well. It was on us. Knew what we were doing. We practiced hard. Everybody knew their assignment. It was just execution. Who was gonna 
who's going to run zone, where we're going to run zone better than they, you know, blitzed us, where we're going to throw the ball better than they can cover us. And tonight, we take did a great job. We got time for a couple did you, more. Did you speak to the team after? Yeah. What, what, what did you say to them? I was speaking to the team the whole game, just telling them to stay in it, no matter what, and let's not give up. Things like this happen, and it's just going to figure out what team we are. Is it going to make us or is it going to break us? And it's going to make us. Why do you, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Um, why do you think you guys weren't able to execute as well as you would have hoped? Too many penalties and too many turnovers. Yeah, we only had two carries tonight. Is it something they were doing on defense to try and get out of your hands on, on the read option stuff? Um, they were doing a great job getting penetration. We couldn't, um, we couldn't get you know our run game going, and the D line, you know, their defense, they were in the places that they were supposed to be. Um, they well coached, and they outplayed us tonight. So those are more handoffs than than, than actual reads. Right. Okay. All right. Thank you, John.